Well, hello YouTube. Today we are going to review some of the wireless keyboard that I have. Uh, I have three keyboards right here. This one is the one of the po most popular one from Amazon. This is the original Apple external keyboard. And this one is a really old school Logitech external keyboard. And they're all wireless. So let's talk about the connectivity between the three keyboards. The old school one is a keyboard and mouse combo. It comes with a mouse and it connects with a USB receiver, which I have connected right here with my, my USB hub. So this is a receiver you had to plug into the USB into a laptop or computer, PC computer, or Mac. It works with Mac as well. Okay. So this is the receiver and the keyboard and the mouse itself. So a pretty good combo if you like that, you know, bundle kind of stuff. Okay, the next one up is the Apple keyboard. This is the original keyboard from Apple and it's costly. It goes around like 90 something dollars on Amazon. I can uh, provide that link in my description if you want this one. But this one is, I think it's the, one of the best keyboard I ever use because it's really small and it's connected to Bluetooth. That means you don't need any receiver to connect to the uh, to the laptop. Uh, it's a Mac keyboard. Uh, I'm not sure if it works for PC or not. So you see, I'm gonna double check. And to connect with the key, the the, the laptop is pretty easy. You just connect the the one end of the um, Apple plug into here, and then it goes to the USB on the computer. And that's also the way you charge it as well. Okay. And the third, we finally have the one of the most popular uh, wireless keyboard on Amazon. I have the purchase link down in the description to go check it out if you like this one. This one is really slick looking. It's only going for like 35 bucks on Amazon. So it's a, it's a third party keyboard, unlike the Apple one. This goes for 90 bucks, okay? <laughs> Keep that in mind. This one, same thing, it's a, it's a Bluetooth keyboard. You can use a uh, USB-C connector to connect it to the side of the keyboard right here. And then you use the USB N to connect to the Mac. So the whole reason I bought this keyboard right here is that I want to make this video. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's that because I'm really tired of using this old keyboard right here because of the action on the keys. And what, me, what I mean by action, you know, if you're a guitar player, then you would know what I'm talking about. It's the height of the key from the top to the bottom. Okay. So these are the two MacBook uh, Pro that I have. This is the older model and it's a newer model. If you didn't know that the newer model, the key action on the newer model is really crispy, right? So it's really effortless to type on this new model. On an older model, however, the keys are more, you know, soft and nimble. I mean, it's not bad, but compared to the new one, the new one is a little bit better on the, on the key action. It's like so effortless to type. And it's got, it, it can be like maybe like a, a week or so to get used to the new key action. But once you get used to it and you go back to the old one, then I'm like, wow, what's such a difference. So here is the, the Mac, uh, MacBook Pro keyboard. I believe this is the older version of it. So the key action is really similar to the older MacBook Pro that I have. The keyboard, the key is, is a little bit softer, not as crispy, all right? Compared to the, to the, uh, the newer MacBook Pro version of the keyboard, okay? But comparatively, this one is the one of the best keyboard I ever used. As you can see, the keyboard itself is very small. It has a really small footprint, right? If you can see in the camera that, but this is my, my hand right here. It's just like maybe less than twice the size of my, 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 my hand, all right? It has a really small footprint, even on the external keyboard tray right here. Right, you can have plenty of room for your mouse to move around. But unfortunately, my wife is going to be using the keyboard for her Mac. So yeah, I don't get to use this one. So this keyboard uh, was the one I was been using for 
I say two weeks for now, uh, because I set up my keyboard tray down here just a week ago, and then I want to see my screens up here, and for ergonomics purposes, I set up the keyboard external keyboard uh, to use, but comparatively, this one has the worst key action of the all of the three I have, because once you type in the new MacBook Pro, and you go back to here. And you realize how bad these key actions are, because it's it's relatively high and there's so much effort just typing one key. And you appreciate your your new MacBook Pro's keyboard a lot. I can scare you to that. Okay. Well, the the advantage of this one is that this one has the the nine key right here. If you're doing accounting, that's perfect. If you're doing with anything with number, that's really good to have. Right, remember that the Apple key doesn't have any nine key on the, on the right. It only have the, the normal keys on the top. Okay, and um, I really like the home and page up, page down button on this side right here. But again, the key action is really, really bad on this keyboard. Plus, it's taking a lot of space on my keyboard tray. I only have like not that much room because I don't want to like I want to set this key because I'm colder. So I have use this portion of the keyboard a lot so I want to center this to myself and my keyboard only have like so only so much room to move around and it's just not the right setup that I need as a coder ta-da and that brings me to why I bought this keyboard from Amazon so this is one of the most popular well one of the most popular keyboard I, I, I can see on Amazon the good thing about this is smaller than the, the Logitech keyboard I have by almost like one palm space, about like four inches, five inches. That saves me the, the space on the keyboard tray, right? Second thing, it has nine keys, all right? <laughs> I'm a coder right now, I'll tell you that, but six years ago, I'm, I was like an accountant and I deal with the nine keys a lot. And having the nine keys here just helps me to just, you know, if, it, if, if you don't do anything with the numbers, they will save your life. So another perk about this keyboard it, is that it also has the delete home page up page down button and end button that I really like on the bigger keyboard, right? If you can see the layout is different. On a bigger one, you have all the insert keys, end keys on here on a big giant land, landmark right here. But in the newer keyboard I got, it's just one line. So it saved the vertical, uh, sorry, the the horizontal space of the keyboard. Okay, I can center this keyboard with the keys I do in the center, and I still have a lot of space for my mouse. Although the key action is relatively higher than the Apple keyboard, but I'm not struggling to press on the key like the one with I have with the Logitech. Okay, so the key action is not too bad for this one. Okay, so which keyboard should you get? It depends, right? If you don't mind the bad budget, this one is the one to get. All right? This one is $95 on Amazon. However, it doesn't have a 9 key. The 9 key version is much longer and it costs about $120 also on Amazon. You can check it out as, as well. But so if you look at the, the Apple Magic Keyboard with number pad, the 9 key down here, the length is pretty long too. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's shorter, a little bit shorter horizontally than the Logitech I have, but you can see the the um, the end key right here on, on the middle is still taking some length space. But you know, this is if you don't have the budget with string, okay? And the second thing you want to consider besides the budget and the nine key is the space on your on your desk, right? If you want. So this keyboard I have from Amazon is the, one of the the best uh, keyboard that I can find that serve my purpose, right? Because, well, who am I gonna lie? I, I, I do miss the nine keys because I used to be an accountant and then typing numbers with nine keys is such a, a, a joyful thing to do. Um, also, this one is a Bluetooth keyboard. That means it doesn't have a receiver on the other side of the computer. So that saved me a USB spot on the computer, okay? And there's no battery is needed for this keyboard. So I'll save some battery. And uh, also, it has a 
the shortcut key that I need on the on this line right here, the delete home page up page down and end button, which it doesn't offer in the the small Apple keyboard right here. Okay, so it has all the keys I need. It's narrower in width, and it's Bluetooth keyboard, and it looks pretty cool. <laughs> okay, the only complaint that I have is that the the key action is not as crispy as the Apple ones. But hey, you're paying a third of the price for the product. Okay, so I have no complaints right now. So check out the purchase link on my description if you are interested. Let me know what, what which one is your favorite. One more thing to notice is this the, the sound of the keyboard, how quiet the keys are. Okay, this is my key right here. It's a new keyboard. Okay, this is the sound of the Apple keyboard. They are pretty quiet. Now, going back to the logic tag. This is loud. This is freaking loud. Ugh. Trash this. Another perks about this keyboard from Amazon is that it has the same layout as the Mac. Um, it's all of the key from the MacBook Pro. It's the same on the keyboard. You know, in addition to those uh, page up, page down, home, end button, and the keypad, everything to the left is pretty much the same as the layout on the key Maple Pro. Okay, and all the key works seamlessly. Right, if I press the volume down button, you see the volume down, volume up, and then I press the um, this the desktop version or dash dashboard, right, showing desktop. It works perfectly. Okay, so this is really good for MacBook Pro or Mac any Mac uh, machine. And if if you have a PC, you know, consider getting a Mac. It's much better. Alrighty, guys, this is all the keyboards I have to show you. And if you find this video to be helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. Thank you so much.